Good morning, everybody. I am Chris, and Jenny's in there uh, putting on her makeup real quick. And we are waking up in Las Vegas, New Mexico. Um, and uh, we're about to go show you what we're going to do for the day. But uh, we wanted to point out something very funny in our hotel room. I, I, know, I know Jenny's dressed, by the way. Yes. So, say hi, Jen. <laughs> okay. So anyway, we were laying in bed last night watching the uh, uh, college football first off, the uh, Louisville and uh, Georgia Tech, and then we turned it on to the Miami Heat and Lakers uh, game five, which the Heat won by, I do believe, three points. And as we were laying in, bed, laying in bed, I noticed something very odd is this picture is upside down. And I, and I kind of laughed, and Jenny's like, What's go what are you laughing at? I was like, that picture is upside down. And then she promptly looked at the picture on the, uh, uh, the kind of the other side of the room here next to the bed, and it is also, as you can see, upside down. We're assuming this was done by patrons in the past just trying to play a joke, but... Uh, I hope. Oh, you hope. Jenny's a little bit creeped out by it, and she's very OCD, so uh, what what is your description of what you just saw? I don't like it. You don't like it. No. So when Jenny doesn't like something, she says... I don't like it. And that means, well, obviously she doesn't like it, but uh, for now, <laughs> I'm Chris. And I'm Jen. And... Hello? <laughs> and we're going to Santa Fe. <laughs> We'll explain that here in a minute, okay. Spoiler. Yeah, thanks Jenny for the spoiler. Alrighty everybody, good morning and we are back. So, a brief explanation of why we're in Las Vegas, New Mexico is while we were during lockdown, um, Jenny is one who likes to watch a lot of television, I'm not so much. Binge watch. Binge watch. <laughs> and what, and during a, um, you found yourself in a show hole. So yes. what show did you find? Longmire. Longmire. And what, describe the TV show. Well, as you would say, um, there's an old, you know, basically a Western type of show, small town, you know, sheriff. They had to work with the Indian Reservation and, you know, with crimes and murder and what you would say is the murder capital of the world. Yes, this, this little town... <laughs> The sheriff lived in. The setting was Durant, was, Wyoming. Right. And I'm sorry, where are we now? Las Vegas, New Mexico. Oh, and, and where did this show take place? Well, the fictional, fictional town of Durant, of Durant Wyoming. Wyoming. So, quite honestly, if I'm a, if I'm a resident of Wyoming, I'd say you, you couldn't find a nice, quaint little town to film in Wyoming. But apparently they couldn't. Because what they did was is they filmed here in New Mexico. And this was his office. This was the office. Now, from my understanding, they actually did not film here, correct? As far as I know, I don't think so. But as you can see, <laughs> Sheriff's Department, and up top, <laughs> it actually says Aceroca County, Durant, Wyoming. And we are actually in Las Vegas, New Mexico. So, I don't know about you guys, but that seems a little weird to me. I'm sorry, buddy. I don't carry cash anymore. My bad. And 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 on the few occasions that I uh, watched the show with Jenny, is they showed this little park plaza over here. They would actually show the characters walking through here. There's a historic hotel right over there. And, uh... So they did film this area a lot. They did film this area a lot. And, uh... Ginny and I will get a little bit more into... Uh... Things in a moment. Yeah. Um, I do remember one particular scene where... The, uh, the sheriff is being scolded by the mayor and they're actually walking through this park. And do uh, you know when that film was showed, per chance? Or, uh, excuse me, that show was filmed? Uh, gosh, I think it was like five years ago. If 
five years ago or so. And uh, Jenny made mention that this little gazebo here in the middle was in much better condition. It looks like it's being currently restored. But like I said, I do remember shots of the characters walking down the sidewalk in this park. And Jenny is now taking pictures so, of this. Uh, Durant, Wyoming, AKA Las Vegas, New Mexico, or Las Vegas, New Mexico, AKA Durant, or Durant, Wyoming. So, and this is the reason, the entire reason actually, we came to New Mexico. And uh, in just a few moments, we're gonna get back in our truck and we're gonna begin the rest of our journey and uh, explain why we did not want to go any further than this. And uh, we'll get to that in a second. So I'm gonna go meet up with Jenny, who's walking right towards us, and we are going to get on the road. All right, Jen, have you seen enough? You know, let's uh, let's call it good. Um, I think. Okay. I think this is let's call it good. Okay. All right, everybody, we are back, and we are currently recording on a brand new piece of equipment. Equipment. Jenny actually allowed me to go out and get <laughs> a GoPro Hero Nine. And the reason I normally don't upgrade cameras and stuff just for the sake of upgrading, but I, I look for something that's really going to make a difference. And the thing that caught my attention about this little camera is that it actually has got a front facing screen. Now, the problem with the front facing screen is, is that <laughs> as, as you see Jenny leaning into the picture, <laughs> when I pull the preview up on my phone, I can actually see both of us. But on the front facing screen, it is not full frame. So I can see my shoulder and I can see part of Jenny's head, but we cannot see. There we go. We cannot see <laughs> us entirely. So I'm hoping, hoping that you guys can actually see us. If not, you're gonna hear our voices, part of Jenny's <laughs> head, and all of that. So you've already seen a few things. You've uh, already seen why we're here. But now for a little backstory. Usually, uh, Jenny and I, when we travel, I like to do a little recording on the first day. Maybe not of the journey necessarily, but where we're going and have a little fun with it and everything. Jenny and I had worked out how we were going to present it and everything. I mean, we try to be spontaneous, but other times we try to, you know, show what, you know, be a little humorous, and that takes a little bit of, of work. Um, <laughs> oh, maybe for you. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful. Well, the truth of that is, is that I am a little bit more spontaneous than Jenny, so sometimes we have to work out the script beforehand. And even if we work out the script, Jenny often does not follow it. You know, she doesn't. She doesn't take cues and stuff like that. She'll be I like, "What? Them. What? What are you? What? What are you trying to? What <laughs> do you like, want me to make do? These what? What are you? What? I'm sorry. What do you want? I'm, I'm sitting here. She's looking right at me, and I'm mouthing what she needs to say. She's like, "What? <laughs> what? What do you want? I'm, I'm sorry. What? I'm I'm ad-libbing to what I want to say. Yes, Jenny. <laughs> so anyway, but um, <laughs> so as you know, we're in. We're actually leaving. Las Vegas, New Mexico, and more in a minute on why we're beating such a hasty retreat. But um, <laughs> we, we've decided it, uh, a while ago to make this trip. It's, it's one of the things that's like, where do we go with the trailer being gone and COVID and everything and uh, still wanting to make some travels? Uh, we, you know, this is one of the things that popped up. I found that going to uh, that a little show that took place in Wyoming a fictional town in Wyoming named Durant but was actually filmed in New Mexico was kind of interesting so we went to check it out so on our way here yesterday um, normally we'll go to like we'll start driving we'll get some lunch or some breakfast or something then I'll start recording after that and the reason there's no footage from yesterday is because we're driving and I fully expected Jenny at some point to go, hey, I'm hungry, it's time to eat. And we only eat when Jenny wants to eat. I mean, that's just kind of our thing. And we're driving and driving and driving and Jenny never ever ever says, hey, it's it's lunchtime. So we just keep driving. And uh, next thing I know, we're actually in Las Vegas, New Mexico. And um, so uh, 
one little funny story, and then I'm going to let Jenny take over for a minute about why we left Las Vegas so quickly. But um, we're literally driving down the highway. We're already in New Mexico, and we're listening to music uh, that Jenny has on her phone because we uh, she didn't get the XM radio signed up for in time. And at one point, I we're listening to a song and she does this sing-along she's always since we were teenagers she's done a sing-along to this particular song in this particular spot and it hit this spot and I looked over at Jenny and she didn't do anything and I looked and she was looking straight ahead I was awake at the beginning of the song. And she was awake at the beginning of the song. And the song isn't like, it's not a it's a, not a uh, classical number that lasts 45 minutes. And I'm literally, and go Jenny. And she's literally looking forward. No expression on her face at all. And I mean, just the most peaceful, serene look. Not, not anything else. So I, I kind of look at her like this and I do one of these. I wave my hand in front of her face. Nothing. She doesn't make a, she doesn't move a muscle. And at this point, because she's fully upright, looking forward, her sunglasses are on so I can't see her eyes, I do this out of sheer terror. I go like that. <laughs> and I hit her pretty hard. And it she doesn't react instantaneously. It takes her a moment, but then she's like, oh my gosh, why, why did you just hit me? Well, I literally thought, and I don't know why I thought this, but because of the way she looked and how she was acting and everything, I thought somehow she had died. That she had passed away sitting in the truck very peacefully. And, um, you know, because normally if she falls asleep in the truck, you know, she's doing one of these, her head's going up and down, or she starts to snore. And she didn't do any of these things. She literally was just like that. Not a, not no motion. It didn't look like she was breathing. I couldn't hear her. I couldn't see her breathing. I thought she had somehow passed away, and I I, I really freaked out. I, I really did. I mean, for the rest of the day, I was very freaked out and very emotional because I thought my wife had died in the truck. As it turns out, she had just done what she normally does: <laughs> is see, fall asleep in the car. You see how I can fall asleep very suddenly. Yeah, and it was literally she was awake and talking, and then she is no longer awake and talking. So within we talk about seconds, the within on seconds, the couch falling asleep. Uh, Do you now see that's that? that's another that's another story for another day. But you so. now see that I can fall asleep very suddenly without. That's noticing. another discussion for another day. Now <laughs> I'm just saying, Jenny. Yes. Explain why, and I will add in my little two cents why we are leaving Las Vegas, even though we had planned on spending all day today there. Well, we thought it would be, I think, a little different. It was definitely older but there were a lot of empty shops I mean just a lot of open storefronts and just I mean it was just deserted I guess is the best way to describe it is that you know I, there's the old Plaza Hotel and that was still running and everything like that but um, it's just empty you know and so I was just so I think instantly both Chris and I kind of got that feeling like okay this is just a little eerie like it was almost like ghost townish in yeah. a way yeah yeah no, um, no for sure for sure you know and instantly when we get out of the truck you know we were panhandled now we actually scouted the location yesterday and honestly we could have been film done filming yesterday but as soon as literally as soon as we step out of the truck we we're asked for money the just as soon as we get out of the truck we were asked for money so and we were parked like right in front of the right almost in front of the plaza hotel yeah so and funny thing is is when we get out of the truck this morning the same thing happened by the same individual so yeah. right and um so keep and going. so well and then yesterday we were kind of walking down the street a little bit and i think we were both kind of feeling leery but we're like okay you know let's just kind of see what's here at the time I had a camera on me and we're in this little town so I was hoping to get some kind of unique interesting old town type photos um, and uh, we started walking around and we only made it so far when Ginny got very uneasy well there was one shop in particular and I wish I would have gotten pictures because I think we were feeling too leery about going back there today but uh, it was locked down you know it looked like it honestly hadn't been opened in a while 
but it was like full of stuff. It almost looked like, you know, a hoarder had taken over the shop and just put all of this random stuff in there in the window front. And then as we're looking through the door, I mean, it didn't even look like you could really get into the shop. Um, I instantly spotted, you know, a life-size, you know, clown statue. Which I did not see. I was door. looking at other and stuff. I was trying to get some, I was like, ooh, this might be an interesting photograph. And Jenny is, uh, at this point, not having it. And that kind of freaked me out. And then I'm like looking at the walls and everything. And I, I was like, Chris, that calendar is open to 19, it's 1977, like January of 1977. I'm just like, has that the last, has, is that the last time somebody's been in this shop? <laughs> and it is, you know, just for full reference, it is, it is October of 2020. That calendar said 1977 on it. And so that means when that calendar was put up, I was not quite five years old yet. And it had not been removed, changed, or anything else. So at that point, I was still wanting to kind of see if I could find some things to take pictures of. But at that point, Jenny's like... I was like, I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, Jenny's like, I don't like it. So we actually, at that point, beat a hasty retreat, went back to our hotel realized that we were not going to be able to spend an entire day in Las Vegas, New Mexico, you know, going around looking at the interesting, you know, little, quaint little town. And so we started to make new plans. And what is our new plan, Jennifer? Santa Fe. We are going to Santa Fe, New Mexico. Now this is not a place that Jenny and I have ever been together. I went there probably, oh, uh, I'm gonna guess, probably 10 years ago or so as a chaperone for a field trip for my daughter's social studies class at middle school. She's the one that got married and she's now 25 years old. So um, I don't recall if her husband was on that trip. I don't know if he was, but they did originally meet in middle school. So they've been together for a very long time now. Even I don't, they were not together on that trip, but I don't recall if he was there. So um, yeah, we, have pulled the plug and we are heading down the road and we are going to Santa Fe. There is a lot more things to do in Santa Fe. I hope our experience is a little bit better than what we just had. Now, please do not think we are bagging on Las Vegas, New Mexico. We are not. Uh, it's just different than what we thought it was going to be. Well, you know, it was one of those things that um, to me, and I've been thinking about this all morning, it is kind of what is happening to small town America. Um, we think of these quaint, beautiful little towns with unique shops and everything like that, but the simple truth of the matter is, is that may not exist anymore. Uh, I think it was last year, Jenny and I were on a similar road trip, just going somewhere we've never been, and we decided to go to Casper, Wyoming. They have a very similar downtown area, and we had a very similar experience. Um, all the shops seemed to be deserted, there seemed to be nobody down there, there seemed to be, uh, quite, even though this was a very small town, uh, the, there was quite a, you know, you could see the, the homeless population and things like that. And, uh, and you know, because this is a small town and there's probably not a lot of industry, not a lot of places to work, there's probably a lot of unemployment and there's probably a lot of poverty. And, uh, and I know we want to think that small town America is alive and well and, and doing good, and I, I hope it is, you know, but so far we're kind of 0 for 2. Um, uh, as far as what we've experienced. I do hope that I'm wrong. I hope that maybe somebody can tell us, hey, go check out this little town. You'll love it. It's still there. But the simple truth of the matter is, is um, small town America, as we want to think it, may no longer exist. Like I said, I hope I'm wrong. So now we're going from small town America to a little bit larger town America. And we know there's going to be stuff to do there, and in fact, we've already kind of planned that out. So, for now, we are going to try to find Jenny some food, because she loves breakfast when we travel, and some coffee, otherwise she'll be useless for the rest it's of the true. day. It is true. I'm not a coffee drinker, Jenny is. So, for now, I'm Chris. I'm Jen. And we will see you in... Santa Fe. Santa Fe.